Hey everybody, welcome to the DW Plays video. This time I am taking a look at Streets of Camarocho, which is a mini game that Sega put out for free for their 60th anniversary celebrations last year, which was kind of cool to see. I mean, this is really nothing more than a reskin of the first level of Streets of Rage 2, just styled after the Yakuza series. So we'll go ahead and uh, give it a try here. I'll go ahead and play as Kyoryu. Now, the Yakuza series is one series I haven't really gotten around to yet. I was waiting until I got a hold of all the games. And right now, I have them all, but I was planning on getting the PC version of Yakuza 6. Because I have the PS4 version right now, and I'd just rather play them all on PC since they're all available now. I mean, I'm technically not going to be playing the original uh, Yakuza 1 and 2 because I'll be playing the Kiwami version, but... Oh well. As for this, this is, um... Well, it, it's Streets of Rage 2, but reskinned. And, I mean, they did a good job with the pixel art. It plays like Streets of Rage 2, which is a fantastic beat-em-up game if you've never played it. One of the best out there, in fact. And I highly recommend it. Still holds up extremely well. Has a fantastic soundtrack. Uh, so does the original game, for that matter. The original game holds up really well, and it has a fantastic soundtrack. Arg I, I don't know if it would be arguably better than the second one. Um, I do personally like the original game more than uh, Streets of Rage 2 as far as its soundtrack goes. But that's just personal taste. Then Streets of Rage 3 happened, and uh, the less said about that soundtrack, the better. But anyway, this is... Um this isn't the kind of thing that I would even really include in an MTO, because like I said, it is just a reskin. It's cool that they put it out there, and they put it out there for free. I don't know if it's still available or not. I, I think they were planning on these things being a limited time um, availability. Oh, and uh, the sword somehow changed into a traffic cone, and now I'm beating the crap out of bad guys with a traffic cone, because, you know, Yakuza. Because Yakuza is bonkers, and it's wonderful. Just beat this dude up, too, with a traffic cone, because why the hell not? Now, that was just mean. Just beat him up a bit. Now, you do have special moves you can do, but I usually just don't mess with them. Because they uh, drain your health, and that's not cool. Plus, they're not like, quite the same as in uh, Streets of Rage 2, where each character had a special move that actually had some range to it. In this one, it's just that little punchy punch thing. So, that's not really all that great, but, um... Oh well, you don't really need it. When you can, you know, chuck an enemy into other enemies, which is always entertaining. I mean, they even animate things like the the doors on the the background shops opening and closing for you, which is really cool. They put a lot of effort into this thing for a simple freebie that they were just throwing out there as a uh, limited time thing just to have fun. This is a nice bonus for the celebrations. That guy was annoying in the original game, too, for that matter. Have a knife to the face, why not? Now, I'm not the best at beat-em-up games, so... Don't expect, like, top-tier gameplay or anything. I'm just gonna stun-lock this guy, because why not? <laughs> that was just mean. Don't do that. It's rude. Also, this guy has insane range, which is not fun. So I'm just going to do that. Because, you know, that's always fun. But yeah, we'll get to the end of this bit here, and then it'll have the uh, the boss fight. Which, as you know, is... Uh, if you've played Streets of Rage 2 anyway, is going to be the reskinned bartender. So, 
so this is just kind of a neat extra bonus. Um, they also did a Company of Heroes game that was basically a, a tank action game, which is kind of neat. So I'll, I don't know if I'll take a look at that one or not. Actually, I haven't even tried it out to make sure it works. So. Uh, they also did a prototype of a 3D Golden Axe game. Uh, they didn't make it for the 60th anniversary celebration, but they released it as part of that. Which, as I understand, the uh, the developers of the prototype were not exactly the happiest about that. But, um, oh well. You can't really do a whole lot with it. It is a shame that we don't get more Golden Axe games. We had Golden Axe 1, 2, and 3. And then we had Beast Rider, which I actually do have a copy of. I'm going to be reviewing that at some point, but... I don't know when that'll be. That should be an interesting video, too. And this guy is the substitute for the, uh, the Dominatrix mini-boss, which is kind of neat. I'm just going to stun lock him, because why the hell not? Here's a pro tip for you if you ever have trouble with Streets of Rage 2. Just stun lock the enemies because, well, there's not a whole lot they can do about it. And uh, try to stay away from that guy because he will throw you, which is really irritating because it does a huge amount of damage. And now I'm dead. Oh well. Because I have five more lives, well, four more lives now, but whatever. Oh, I keep... keep doing that. I'm just so used to going in for the throws. that real quick, because full health is always fun. Oh, that time it actually did work. Come. And he did it again. That's really irritating. Now, the, the biggest reason this is just going to be a, a DW Plays video here is because as you will see at the end of this fight here oh come on that should have been hitting him oh well and that was some special BS there we go but as you'll see here we clear the round and then it just starts over so this is just a loop of this level over and over and over again at least as far as I've ever seen um, you fight the same boss every time And you just go for score. It's, I mean, it's it's Streets of Rage 2. If, you, if you've never played it before, then, well, I highly recommend picking that up instead. But this is a nice bonus that they had, and I just figured it would be kind of fun to do at least something on it. Because, you know, why the hell not? I'm probably going to do a video on Golden Axe Prototype, which is called Golden Axed. Because uh, I like Golden Axe, and that thing is silly. It's going to be a DW Plays video like this if I do anything on it, because there's barely anything there. But, uh, I think suffice to say, we've, uh, we've had some fun with this here. I mean, it's always fun to play Streets of Rage 2, even if it is reskinned. One of these days, I really need to get around to playing through the Yakuza games. Of course, now I have another one I need to get. I need to get Like a Dragon. I don't have that one yet, either. I even have um, Yakuza Dead Souls, which is that weird PS3-only zombie spin-off thing. And nobody even remembers that exists, but for some reason I managed to find it at my bargain bin for dirt cheap, so I was like, why the hell not? So whenever I cover the Yakuza series, I'll even cover that one. It's gonna happen eventually, I just don't know when. 
But uh, as for this, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it because this was this is decent, but it just repeats over and over and over again, and there's only so much you can do with that. So I hope you all enjoyed this, and uh, I will see you all in the next one. As for uh, the adventures of Kiryu on the streets of Kamurocho, well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see for the actual Yakuza series, because uh, there's only so much you can do with this particular thing, which is basically mash the, uh, the A button and uh, call it a day. So, anyway, I'll catch you all in later videos.